Welcome back to the channel everybody, Martin here. Today I'm going to cut down a pine tree that uh, I'll show you a better shot of it, but just to the left of the chicken coop out there on the side of that driveway there's a dead pine in there. During the last uh, cold front that came through yesterday, the day before, the uh, wind blew out a chunk of it and the rest of it looks like it's uh, pretty shaky so I'm going to go cut that down and a couple of the branches that are along the side of the driveway as well that fell out. But before I do that, I have to sharpen these chainsaw blades. Got them pretty dull when I was doing the work out here on the side of the barn. So I'm going to take these off the saws and take it back to my Oregon chain sharpener. And I'll show you how I do that here in a sec. Okay, so come along with me as I do this. So I have a steel 290 here, Farm Boss. And the 251, both of these are uh, pretty dull right now. So I'm going to take the chains off, bring it over to the Oregon uh, sharpener, and get these chains sharpened up. Need to clean up the saw a little bit too before put it back together. See how dirty it is from use. This is the Oregon 410-120 chain sharpener. It really saves a lot of time in getting the chains sharpened just the way they need to be. I hand file them for touch-ups between, between cuts, but there's nothing like having a, a basically a factory set chain when you're doing these cuts. So you set it up one way, tilt it, and then turn it the other way and cut the backside teeth. So it gives it a perfect cut. Here we go. Alright, there's the uh, 290's chain. This chain I had hand sharpened and it got the teeth off a little bit, but over time I'll get them back right. We'll put this one back on the saw and then we'll get the tools together in the ranger and we'll warm up the tractor here and put the grapple on it and get all my, uh, my equipment together and run it out to the driveway there and cut this stuff up. Okay, I've got the uh, ranger loaded up here. Here's the saw, I'll put back together. 
ready to go nice and sharp I also have the tractor warming up out here I put the grapple on so I may want to just pull that log out of the wood so I can cut it up better these grapples are fantastic if you have a tractor that is the best thing you can get if you if you're dealing with uh, trees at all so let me go hook up the trailer to the ranger and take it out there and then I'll uh, come get the tractor and we'll get this tree down So here's a tree right here. See that dead pine that's up there on the hill. This branch fell out the other day when the cold front came through. So I need to cut this small tree down and make way for it to come through that gap right up there. here on the driveway. I'm going to take that little tree out that's in front of the pine and then I'm going to drop that right across the driveway right here.
Oh, oh, oh.